So, but I think one of the things that I struggled with most when I first got here was indeed the way in which you guys give directions. <laughs> it is without question unlike anywhere else in the world, right? You ask people for directions in London, England, or, or New York, or any other city or town in the world. They, they, will, they will say, oh, I, I went to visit my mum, for example, a few months ago. She'd moved to a new town. I was trying to find the pub. They said, oh, you turn left at the, at the library, turn right at the cathedral, and you'll get to the pub. Wonderful, right? Wonderful. She used local landmarks. You don't do that in New Brunswick, do you? <laughs> no. You give directions using landmarks of shit that used to be there. <laughs> 25 fucking years ago! <laughs> it's even worse in the rural areas. I was trying to find a gig in Sussex about six months ago. I got lost. I asked someone for directions, and I swear to God, word for word, he says to me, go to the end of this road and turn left at the tree where Donnie crashed his bike in 78. <laughs> Beautiful. I've had to get used to this, and, and it, it all came to a head. It all came to a head, ladies and gentlemen. I got, I got lost one day. I found myself at, uh, I got lost. I found myself at Lancaster Mall. Do we all know Lancaster Mall? Yeah. I love Lancaster Mall. If you don't know Lancaster Mall, just picture the mall in Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> and imagine it with a few more zombies in it. And you're, oh. So I got lost, right, and, and, and I, I saw a lady, I was trying to find, because my, my wife likes to send me out on little jobs during the day, right, just to stop me indulging in my favourite hobby of um, drinking all day. <laughs> so she said, you know, it's like the world's worst scavenger hunt. She's like, go to this flooring company, take a picture of a floor. I'm like, well, what floor? Any fucking floor, just <laughs> out of the house. So I'm trying to find B&N flooring. So I went up to this lady. Oh, they're in the house, giving up a bit of flooring. World-class flooring company, world-class, world-class flooring company. See, we all know and love them. That's the beautiful thing about this place. So I went up to this lady, she looked smart. She looks like one of us, right? A, a, a born and bred St. John. She obviously knew what was what. I said, excuse me, madam, do you know the way to B&N flooring? And she said, yes, I do. I said, wonderful, I'm in safe hands here. And I swear to God, word for word, this is the first thing she says, she goes, do you know where Zellers used to be? <laughs> Do I look or sound like I know where Zellers used to be? I don't even know what a fucking Zellers is. <laughs> now, I now know from my research that the building in question the building to which she was referring was actually behind where I was standing. It was in her field of vision. She could see the building. And it's now quite a well-known established chain called Bloody Walmart. <laughs> she could see the Walmart sign in the periphery of her vision, but she still calls it where Zellers used to be. Now, the day this happened, I was, I was just flummoxed, ladies and gents. And that night, I was doing a gig at Yuck Yucks here in St. John, and I was on stage telling this story exactly as I'm telling it to you. And I got to this point in the story, and a woman at the back of the room stood up, quite angry, and said, she's obviously not a true St. John then. I said, why is that? She said, because if she was, she would have said it's where Kmart used to be. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, 